Are they headphones? Are they earbuds? Are they in-ear headphones? Let's check them out. Dave Taylor here, and I don't really know how to categorize these sort of earbud headphones, <laughs> but let's talk about them anyway. These are the One More Triple Driver Bluetooth in-ear headphones. So One More calls them in-ear headphones. The basic idea is that there's a piece that goes around your neck, and then there are earbuds that just come straight up from the main unit and go into your ears. So in practice, it looks like this. You put it around your neck, you put these in your ears, and you're good to go. Super easy, and there's a lot to like about this design actually, not the least of which is that then the earpieces end up having just the drivers and the speakers needed so that you get actually really nice sound. There's no Bluetooth reception, there's no batteries, none of that is necessary, because all of that of course is on the neck piece. That also means that the neck piece can have more batteries so you can get better battery life and you can have these last longer. So let's talk about these. These, like I said, are the one more triple driver and they have three drivers. You can see here's a cool illustration of it. So there are two balanced armatures and there's a separate dynamic driver. To put it in a word, they sound terrific. Now, I'm a big fan of one more anyway, and part of it is the packaging. We'll get back to this box in a minute. <laughs> but they just do a really great job with all their gear. So this is just another in the same line. And here's what's really nice is they've added a lot of additional circuitry. So this supports high-res audio, and it has AAC, so if you're using an iPhone or an iPad, iOS does not use the more popular high-res or any of these other protocols. Apple has its own. Big surprise there, right? But if you can jump to AAC, then you're going to find that you have about two to three times more information. So the result is that you get a bigger, richer, fuller sound, bigger sound stage. Everything just sounds better if it can actually work with AAC. Now, most headphones don't have AAC, so you're just getting regular old streaming Bluetooth audio which can sound really good, but jumping to AAC is really nice. And that's, again, the whole idea with high res So these on the Android side, they support something called LDAC or LDAC, and that's a codec, and that gives you about 990 kilobits per second, which gives you three times the transmission of regular Bluetooth 4.2. Now, these are Bluetooth 4.2, not Bluetooth 5, but again, for most devices, it should pair and it should use a really good protocol that will give you really rich sound. Um, so uh, LDAC is really nice. AAC is obviously the choice that you have for iPhones and iOS devices. And then there's high-res audio, which is yet another level. And what they're all trying to figure out is how much information can we transmit from this transmitter unit to the receiving headphones to give you the biggest, most expansive sound. Now, they've done a nice job with this. And here's one of the things that's kind of interesting, takes a little getting used to, is all the controls are here. So that means when you're wearing these, that all the controls, let me just make sure I got this done the correct left and right. Um, actually, no, I got it this way. Uh -huh. So there you go, I had it wrong. So all of the controls end up on your left hand and there are controls on the top and on the inside. So from the outside, it looks exactly the same on both sides, but it gives you access to pause and play, answer phone call, hang up phone call, volume up and down, and that's nice. A lot of headphones, a lot of the wireless units don't give you volume, and that can be a little tedious if you wanna just keep your device in your pocket. It's really nice to be able to control it. Now, one of the funny things is, is that this is just USB-C for charging, and it took me a while to figure out how the heck you get to the USB-C port so you can charge it. Turns out, you're not gonna be able to see this, but that one of the ends actually pops off, but it's super subtle. I imagine that, particularly since they don't actually mention it in the handbook or manual, there are gonna be a lot of people saying, um, how do you actually charge this? How do I do this? Because it died and I have no idea where to plug in. So you plug in by opening the end and there's just a tiny little tab that pulls it out. And then there's your USB-C charging space. And when you're done, you line it back up, you put it back in and it's absolutely 
absolutely exactly identical in appearance to the other side, which does not pop out and does not have a USB-C charger. <laughs> <laughs> so before you go totally crazy trying to open it up, make sure you're on the correct side. It's the side that has all the controls. So that is good to know. Now, another really amazing thing with this is that its charging capacity is quite impressive. It's a fast charge. So what one more says is that with a 10 minute charge, you can get two hours of use and a full charge takes one hour and that will give you seven hours of playback or hundreds of hours of standby time. If it's turned off, obviously the battery does not go down very much. So one hour charge gets you seven hours of playback, which means if you want to listen to this all day, then and while you're having lunch, you let them charge again and then you got, you're good for the rest of the afternoon if indeed you've been listening a lot in the morning. In my experience, they just last a really long time. And they also have something called ENC environmental noise cancellation, which I haven't found to be a huge big deal. I'm used to active noise cancellation and this is somewhere in the middle. It's not passive. And you know, when they talk about passive noise cancellation, what they're really saying is stick this in your ear and it's harder to hear everything around you or put these over your ear and it's harder to hear everything around you. So passive noise cancellation is kind of nothing. It's kind of just like a characteristic of the fact that you actually have headphones on. But these are somewhere in the middle. So they have some sort of electronic circuitry and microphones that are trying to cancel out some of the noise around you. But my experience was that even changing ear tips, which you need to do, you need to change the ear tips to get the right size for your ears. But even with that, you know, they're not cutting out all sound, but no, no devices can do that unless you turn the music way up. And that is not good for your hearing. Don't turn the music up that loud. <laughs> so still, works pretty well and more importantly if you're in a reasonably quiet environment like an office or you're walking around or something obviously these are super comfortable for when you're out and about they sound really good I am very impressed these are another great example of how one more is just hitting home runs if you'll pardon the baseball metaphor but they're hitting home runs with all their audio gear I am a big fan so they have a nice sound stage they have you know there's a sort of spatial sense to the music you're listening to they have surprising bass and of course you can always adjust the EQ on your phone to nail exactly the kind of music you like but I'm impressed now remember earlier I said about the packaging so let's talk about the packaging I like to think of one more as the company that is into overkill in packaging so open this up and everything it's just like super well done you can see it's a very attractive design this unit would be where the actual in-ear headphones would be and then behind it you have all these different boxes here's the charging cable but check this out check out all the different earbuds that are included all the ear tips and if you can't find ones that fit your ears even if each ear is a different size to the other one if you can't find ones that fit your ears then you are probably not of this earth <laughs> they got a lot of choices here and of course the ones that they ship with are just sort of the standard medium size i bump it up to a larger size and it always makes a significant difference especially if you're listening to any sort of earbuds and you're thinking where's the bass i'm not hearing the bass that i should then probably it's that your ear tips are wrong and you want to bump up to the next size or maybe the smaller size that's really all i got so one more triple driver bluetooth in-ear headphones before i tell you the price if i could ask and you would be so kind as to click on that subscribe button to subscribe to my channel i get a ton of devices from different companies and i am always straight and honest with my reviews so please do subscribe and we'll keep in touch Cool. And feedback. Give me feedback. Do you like this design? Do you like this style of headphones where a piece of it sits around your neck? Let me know because this is definitely one of many different styles of headphone, earbud, in-ear headphones, whatever the heck you want to call it. And this needs a new name. It needs its own name. I don't know. Maybe these could go, be called, I don't know, maybe neck phones. Now nah, it sounds like the speakers would be on your neck, but something that needs some sort of a, a name. So. Okay, one more triple driver Bluetooth in-ear headphones are $199.99 at onemore.com. I recommend them. These are really nice and these are keepers. So I'm going to go back to my music and that means I will catch you in my next video.